Thank you, JR. Um, I'm always honored to be here. And one of the things that I enjoy doing is looking back and giving the historical perspectives because it, it sort of gives us an idea as to why we are where we are. And I think one of the things that we need to look at is our First Amendment of the United States Constitution, which gives you freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to protest. That is a very powerful amendment. And I think the, the younger generation should take a civics lesson from what's going on as a result of the Black Lives Movement, because that movement has its genesis in the First Amendment, because they have a right to peacefully protest and seek redress from the government. And that's what they're doing. And we are seeing remarkable results in a relatively short space of time. For example, we have had police departments across the country who have now banned chokeholds. Chokeholds was a part of regular police routine for the past 200 or so years. It's now banned. Who do you think made that happen? The Black Lives Movement, those protests, those youngsters going on the streets, putting themselves in harm's way, getting arrested. That's a direct result of the protest. Also, officers are being arrested. Police officers, by and large, get carte blanche when it comes to their attacks and their brutality against citizens, especially Black citizens. You're seeing states reopen cases that were closed where they indicated no finding of wrongdoing. Now they're looking and they're rethinking. Why are they doing that? The Black Lives Movement is moving that needle forward. We've had, it, even in our city now, there's a big defund the police departments. We just passed a budget that took billions away from the police department to put it into youth programs and other places where it's needed. That is a direct result of the Black Lives Movement. Additionally, you, you, we, in our society, we say judges are supposed to be dispassionate and only focus on what's in front of them in court on the papers and look at the law and not look at what's going out outside the doors of the courtroom because that is not that important. They're not supposed to be moved by that. And we are seeing on the contrary that the Black Lives Movement is having an effect on the way the courts are ruling. Our United States Supreme Court, for example, in the past three months have passed, I would say record setting legislation or record setting um, laws as it deals with power, the president's power. Yesterday, the Supreme Court ruled, and it's interesting that it was a seven to two um, majority opinion and two of the folks that came over and voted for it were the two nominees to the Supreme Court made by our current president, being Kavanaugh and Gorsuch. And our president is beside himself right now. He's livid because he thought that by putting those two on the court, that basically he would get whatever he wants. And on the contrary, he's not. They are ruling as the law operates, as well as what's going on in society. And I dare say that the Black Lives Movement has a direct impact on what's going on. So keep it going. No justice, no peace. Black Lives Matter. Thank you.